everyone happy after thanksgiving how was your thanksgiving mine was pretty good we actually went to my aunt's house and a lot of the family came over the ones that were actually in town or close to town they came over we ate we ate we ate we laughed we had a really good time um so i was very happy to be at my aunt's house for thanksgiving thank you auntie um today is the 25th of november the day when the the gators in in florida state play who's gonna be watching that game yes um not a shame i am a florida gator girl shout out to all y'all florida state girls but i am a florida gator girl um yes florida state is 11 and 0 uh the gators is five and six but that does not make any difference we will see who win this game today but anyway y'all thank you for being here thank you for clicking on my channel thank you for being a subscriber and or a viewer to my channel yolanda's journaling today we will go book shopping and there's a lot of other little errands that i need to run um we're gonna go book shopping either Barnes and Nobles or Books a Million. I'm not sure which one that I would like to go to. My main thing today is to pick up more Christmas books because I think I only have one Christmas book. And um and I know I have one because I'm looking at it right now. It's called Meet Me Under Under the Mistletoe by Jenny Black Blayless. Um, I need to go to Target. There's a couple of things I need to get from Target when we leave here we will be going straight to get something to eat my mind is all over chipotle i love to get their keto chicken salad bowl um it is so great i love to get that one um and i would like to go to like starbucks or something like that after i've done everything that i need to do and actually they have a starbucks in target so i might make target my last room because i've never sat in the starbucks and target and did anything so um hmm. target might be our last run and we might sit in target and possibly read a book that i might buy from target which might be a christmas book and look through emails and get some things done i'm actually charging my mac air right now because it needs to be charged but I might be able to get an area in Target that I can actually plug it up and charge it while I work on it because I need to go through some emails um, so I can make sure that I'm not missing anything as far as my personal email and my um, content email which my content email is Yolanda's journaling at gmail.com for anyone who is watching my um content and would like to collab or put me on you know to some of your pr list or anything like that that is my um business email and it will be linked down in the description box um so what i'm going to do right now before i leave though so my mac air will be able to get a, a little bit more charge i have my daily plan and I like to try to use this as much as I can just to make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done and to time block the things that I need to do to get them done. Um, because if I don't do that, y'all, I really do not get them done. I get pulled into looking at movies or I get pulled into reading a book or I get pulled into just doing nothing. So this little daily plan actually helps me to get on track to do the things that I need to do in order to get my content out to you guys the way I would like to um I actually have this little GoPro y'all you know? I have not actually started uh using it as much as I would like to start using it um very sleek very you know little so as you can see like I, I really actually like it but then I saw the DJ DJI Pocket 3 and I was like telling myself Yolanda you just got your GoPro like you don't need that but that is on my wish list <laughs> is that um 
that little camera I would, I would really like to have that camera but anyway you guys um i would like to take you guys on along with on this vlog with me let's go to the bookstore let's go get something to eat let's go to target let's just enjoy this it looks like a, a sunny cool fall autumn day um and if you're not a subscriber to my channel there's an icon down on the bottom that you will see it will have my picture on it if you click that button that icon you will become a subscriber to my channel you can also click that notification bell so that youtube will let you know whenever yolanda's journaling uploads another video and i will before we go y'all i would like to give a great big thank you to all of my 21 subscribers y'all without y'all this would not be true this would not be coming true i would not actually enjoy doing what i do um without knowing that you guys actually like what i do so thank you thank you thank you so much for my 121 subscribers and by looking at my youtube um studio i do have a lot of non uh, viewers that's non-subscribers y'all i hope whenever um i make some type of content that you guys like that you will actually click that notification bell to actually become a subscriber to my channel i would love to have you guys along and on board um and if there's different things that you guys would like to see me do to actually help you guys to want to be a subscriber to my channel just write it down in the comments write it down in the comments and we can just go from there positive criticism only y'all this is a positive channel we i like to live in a positive world so positive uh constructive criticism only positive ideas only um and i will do my best to try and make those requests come true again y'all thank you for clicking on my channel thank you for choosing my channel thank you for being here today and let's go book shopping You don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge Alright y'all, so I have learned to listen to my body so it's time to eat we are at something called aj henry park again like i said i went to chipotle to get something to eat i got the keto chicken salad bowl i'll show you guys that in a minute I always got to stay hydrated y'all i love my stanley y'all there is nothing like a stanley cup it keeps everything cold it keeps everything fresh y'all i am so in love with my stanley i got i think two of them one this size with the handle and then one smaller but it's gray y'all i'm in love with my stanley see this is my keto chicken salad bowl and i always have a dressing to go on top y'all i am so hungry so i decided to come to barnes and nobles and the reason why i decided to come to barnes and nobles is for their buy one get one half off 
Of course, you know, it is the day after Thanksgiving weekend, which means the day, the day is Saturday, so it's the day after Black Friday. So, of course, the place is pretty packed. My lips are so dry, y'all. So, I'm going to try and take you guys along with me as much as I can. Sorry, y'all. I just cannot stand for my lips to be so dry. Anyway, I'm going to take you guys along with me as much as I can. I just want to take advantage of their buy one, get one half off. Like I said, what's on my mind is their Christmas books. So I'll see how many Christmas books that I can get. Um, then after here, we're going to go to Target. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to just take advantage of their buy one, get one half off here. Um, to see what books that I like and I think I want to get some books Christmas books from Target I think I see a few Christmas books there um, Before that I really did think that I would like so we'll wait till we get to Target to um, Excuse me to decide what Christmas books that we will get for today so um, And I'm gonna try my best to go to Starbucks in my city uh, to sit down and do just a little bit of something y'all because I really need to be in an area where I can concentrate and go through my emails and stuff like that so y'all join me in Barnes and Nobles Go to Sweet Frog and let's get us some yogurt. It's low fat yogurt now. So, yeah, I couldn't get that much footage in there. Y'all have seen, seen Sweet uh, Frog before, but I just got cake batter and salted caramel with some coconut and syrup no walnut and syrup and just some look like they got their holiday m ms out so i just had a little sweet tooth y'all so oh i'm finna dig into this
I've made it back home. I just want to give you guys a haul on what I got. Y'all, it was so busy. It was so busy. So I did not get a chance to go to the coffee shop to get a little editing done. Um, so I'm going to have to try to do that at home tonight. But I want to get a little reading done before I do that little editing thing. Or vice versa, I'm not sure. But I just want to show you guys what I got. Of course, I went to Books A Million. I'm sorry, I went to Barnes & Nobles. My plan was to get the buy one, get one half off. That was not what I did. But I still did get a good deal. I bought three things for... How much did I spend? $34.26. Y'all, I must say that I'm proud of myself. I did not take a wallet in nowhere I went. Um, I said that I was only going to spend what I had in my pocket. Y'all, I'm so sorry. My lips are so dry. I don't know what's been going on. I guess it's the weather. I don't know. But anyway, so I said I was only going to spend what I had in my pocket. Like I didn't take a purse. I didn't take a wallet in none of the stores that I went in. Thank God when I went into Target and I got exactly what I wanted, it came out to almost exactly what I had in my freaking pocket. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, what did you say? And then he was like, $58.36. I was like, oh my God. That was God. <laughs> anyway, let me show you guys what I got from Barnes and Nobles. Every time I go up to the register and I end up waiting, I'm always, hold on guys. I'm always looking at these bookmarks. And so the line was actually long, long. So I actually had a chance to think about it. So I got this bookmark that I have been watching forever. They had so many different ones, but this is the one that I chose. And I did have my mind on this big, thick ass book, y'all. But when I read the first chapter of it, I was like, I have to get this one. This is the love redesigned by lauren asher it's the barnes and nobles exclusive exclusive includes special content uh, i mean i don't i don't know what the special content is it might be like um the beginning of like the next book that might come out that really doesn't mean too much to me but when i read the first lines of the first chapter in this book i was like i just closed it i was like i gotta get this book but it's love redesigned by lauren asher and the cover is so pretty y'all the cover actually have like raised areas on it so i'm gonna read the back of the book for y'all who has not read this book um jalen and dayla i think those are the names are the characters that's in this book it says jayla jalen if I've ever caught on fire, Dayla would fan the flames with a smile. So when she returns to Lake Wichita, I guess that's how you say it, y'all don't laugh. I finally intended to avoid the interior designer, at least until my mending mother explains my savior complex. The faster I have, I help Dayla find her creative spark, the sooner she will leave town. But while I was busy getting rid of Dayla, I overlooked one potential issue. What happens if I want her to stay? Dayla, people say the devil has many faces, but I know only one, Jalen Lopez, my childhood rival and family friends in, friends in, friends in me which I think I guess is like friend enemy. I vowed to steer clear of him while recovering from my broken engagement, but then the billionaire makes an irresistible offer. Renovate a historical house together and triple our profit. 
our temporary truce became compromised as we faced years worth of denied attraction and mixed emotions. Giving into our desires is inevitable, but falling in love, that's not, that wasn't part of the plan. I noticed that a lot of her books are kind of like falling in the direction that it's falling in, you know, how it has like the two characters on the back. When I haven't read all of the Billionaire, Dreamland Billionaire series, I think I've only read the fine print and started on Terms and Conditions. Um, but, excuse me y'all, like, but I, I noticed that all of her books kind of mimics the same thing but y'all y'all count me out if i'm wrong the way this book starts and the way a lot of her books are do they not remind you of colleen hoover books like with the heat and the fire and the love she her and colleen hoover writes the same i don't care what nobody say at least that's how i feel y'all comment down in the comments do y'all feel like lauren asher and Colleen Hoover kind of write the same type of books with the suspense, the love, just the spice. Y'all, they write the same type of books. I don't care. Y'all comment down below and let me know if y'all feel the same. I have never heard of this book, Sanctuary. But when I saw it, I was like, y'all, I have to have this book. Look at it. Sanctuary is by some people I don't even know. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce all those names. But I read the back of it, y'all. And it was kind of interesting. It's like a book from the future. So, it says... Hold on, y'all. I don't know what happened, y'all. It's like my dang on ring light just went out. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to read the back of this book to y'all. Some of it anyway. Because I don't want to be like spoiling it in case if anybody haven't seen this book or read this book if y'all have put it down in the comments before i read it tell me is this a goodbye it says in 2032 and in this near future america all citizens are chipped and tracked on buses and grocery stores everywhere <clears throat> i'm just saying <laughs> It's almost impossible to survive as an undocumented immigrant, but that's exactly what 16-year-old Val is doing. She and her family have carved out a stable, happy life in a small town, Vermont. But when her mother's counterfeit chip starts malfunctioning and the departmentation force raids their town, they are forced to flee. Now on the run, Val and her family are desperately trying to make it to her Till Luna in California, a sanctuary state that a sanctuary state that is currently being walled off from the rest of the country. But when Val's mother is detained before the journey even begins, Kai, Val must car carry on with her younger brother across the country to make it to safety before it's too late. sanctuary y'all <laughs> and i know i say this on every freaking vlog but i'm so ready to get into this book y'all i'm still trying to finish thousand boy kisses when i had to work my six day stretch at work that kind of like threw me off from reading because this time my little six day stretch just oh it just w wore me out so I'm still trying to finish that book. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish that book tonight and I'll be able to start on another one. Which one? I do not know. I wish I could read them all. But anyway, so I also went to Target and I did do exactly what I said. I got a Christmas book. So, they didn't really have that many to choose from. And I was kind of very disappointed in that because I did see a lot of in Barnes and Nobles. But I said that I was going to get them from target because i the last time i was there i did see a lot of christmas books so i decided to get the three holiday the three holidays and a wedding by oh y'all that's a lot of little crazy names again i do not know how to say those names so i'm not gonna make a fool of myself but it says three times the holiday magic three times the chaos and when i read the back of it y'all it just seems as though like 
um well i'm just read it to y'all a stranger and a seatmate marianne and anna fly to toronto over the holidays marianne to her sister's impromptu wedding and anna to make to meet her boyfriend's wealthy family for the first time Neither expect that severe turbulence would scare them into confessing their deepest hopes and fears. At least they they'll never see each other again, and the love of Marianne's life self wasn't sitting two rows behind them hearing it all. Oops. Whoa! I wonder what kind of book this is gonna be. <laughs> Lord, an emergency landing finds Anna, Self, Marianne, and her sister's entire bridal party snowbound at the Quirky Snow Falls Inn in a picture-perfect town where fate has Anna's act crush filming a holiday romance. As Marianne finds the courage to open her heart to Self and Anna feels the magic of being snowbound with an unexpected new love both women soon realize there's no place they rather be for the holidays hmm it might be good have anybody read this book if y'all have let me know down in the comments if it's going to be a good book uh it pretty much was the best book that i seen when i read the back of them that might interest me I hope I like it. If I don't, I will just donate it to a little free library and try again or at either um, Books A Million or Barnes and Nobles. Uh, I went into Target. This was my main reason to go into Target was to get the mel melanin um, multi-use pure oil blend. Uh, it can be used for your hair, your skin, all those, ja all that jazz. But mine is mainly going to be used for my hair. I have other things that I can actually use for my skin. So I did pick this up. I was glad that I was actually able to find it. And y'all, it was the last one. Um, I was looking for it actually in like the Target section of Target, but it was in the Ulta section of Target. So I'm glad Ulta was actually there. So I also got a Honey Hydrate by Camille Rose. I suffer with a lot of dryness, y'all. Like my hair probably don't look dry to you guys because I put a lot of tender loving care in it this morning um as far as not this morning but like the other day when i first put it in these little ponies which are lazy ponies y'all hey I, I just didn't feel like doing hair but the the products that i try to use a lot are cooperated with honey so i wanted to try this out the camille rose the honey hydrate is like a what does it say use as a leave-in on freshly conditioned hair then style as desired so i'm hoping that when i use this also with my wash and goes that it um the wash it you know the gel that i use in this actually combine together and actually work together so i can see how my wash and goes will be see if they won't be so dry and so crunchy crunchy um at the end when they dry and like throughout the time that i have my wash and go so i was happy to pick this up from target and like i told you guys i needed to get just a few little things to make it look christmasy around my journaling spot so i just picked up these little guys from target each one of them with, was just a dollar a piece um, I got a little Christmas tree, a little reindeer. Um, this is just a little candy cane, two candy canes. It's just a little bottle. Um, it has two little candy canes in it. It was just a dollar. And then the little snowman, plush snowman, that was just a dollar. So I actually just need to get rid of all of these and make this look like a uh, holiday christmas holiday around in this little part i gotta get rid of this which is um oh 
the autumn or i might let that stay but i'm not sure i don't think that go if y'all can see it i don't think that goes with christmas so i will end up getting rid of that and most likely putting up um probably putting oh i'm sorry y'all i got y'all all in the light putting up a just my regular green garnish that i had up there before i think that's what i'm gonna do but y'all this is the end of this vlog y'all that's all i did today um later on today tonight i'm gonna sit down and try to get some email things done and i need to get through thousand boy kisses y'all so um i'll probably try and show you guys small little clips of that because i really need to get some emails checked out i really need to catch up with my emails on my personal email because i'm over a thousand and i don't like to be over a thousand emails like that because when you're that much over it's like you're always going to be missing something so i need to get that taken care of i need to finish thousand boy kisses i'm going to finish thousand boy kisses tonight um i need to cook dinner I don't know if I'm gonna cook dinner <laughs> if I do cook dinner I'll give you guys a little snapshot of what I cooked um but other than that you guys this is the end of this vlog I so 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 thank you for joining me today if you're not a subscriber to my channel again there's an icon down at the bottom if you click on that icon you'll become a subscriber to Yolanda's journaling family click that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a video. And I love you guys. Bye.